Hi, I'm here with my Cold Steel uh, 1860 uh, UN United States Army Cavalry Saber, and I guess I'm doing a, a first impressions review. I've had it for a couple of days, so it's more like, it's, it's my first impressions after a couple of days, but my impressions haven't changed. They've just stayed good and gotten better. So basically, uh, I had a bug up my butt that, you know, I have a lot of Asian swords, as most people do, but we are usually sort of uh, remiss or neglectful of, of our own history, of our, of our own uh, heritage. And so I said, you know what? It just was really bothering me. I want a Western sword. I want a European sword. I want an American sword. So for now, this is, this is that. And you know what? I can't say that I could have made a better purchase. This was really great. And uh, so this is the 1860. It's actually an 1840. Um, but they call it an 1860. They they market it as an 1840. Uh, sorry, as an 1860, but it's actually an 1840 because it's the old wrist breaker. This is the one that's supposed to be big and heavy. And you know, it is heavy. It is uh, heavy towards the tip. It's not you know like a rapier. It's not like a fencing foil. You know, this is definitely a cut sword. And I prefer. Uh, fencing foil type swords. I prefer rapiers and stuff that is very balanced towards the hilt. And you know what? I have to say it's okay. It's okay to have a cutting based sword. And you know what? This is my very first one that I've actually had that is cutting based. Um, I don't count katanas because they have such a long handle that you get the leverage that it's very fast anyways. But this one, my goodness, I feel like I could cut something clean in half with this. And you know what? The quality is excellent. It's just such a nice quality. I like it. It's This is good. I have no complaints, except I wish that the scabbard was lined with sword on the, sorry, with wood on the inside for the sword, just because I feel like I don't like the metal scabbard that I feel like it could dull my edge, but I guess that's how they did it. <clears throat> I don't know what the answer to that is, aside from frequent sharpening, and I feel like frequent sharpening will eventually make it lighter anyway, but I don't care about that. But the point is, yeah, but otherwise, I just realized, hey, now I need to get like a sword frog or a belt hanger because it has the uh, the two loops. You could wear it with a hanger or you could or you could just put a frog, use a sword frog. Uh, so now I realize, oh, I'm going to need one of those. And because I don't have a leather strap, I'm just using a bandana, triple knotted bandana as my, uh, to hold, to hold you know, just to make sure I don't, to have, as my, uh, what, what would you call that, my strap, just to make sure I stays on. Of course, you never want to drop this sword because it could hit your foot. It's a very long, heavy sword. It would be a very bad idea to drop it. But I just feel better having this wrapped around my hand anyways. I'm sure there's more fancy ways to do it that looks nicer, but hey, I think it looks fairly okay. And I'm not doing it for looks anyways. But yeah, this is my Cold Steel 1860 Saber. And I noticed something about sabers. This is just in sabers in general, I guess. Um, having practiced uh, Olympic fencing as well as historical European combat fencing from the uh, historical manuals, what most people would call, uh, I'll just say fectens, fectens, um, kunstfectens, or just uh, sort, sort, you know, historical European fighting. But when you are parrying and then you you repost i notice when you flip over the blade to use the false edge i guess you can't really see it maybe if i uh i guess i can't flip it here you know because it's curved you're immediately applying the point down onto your opponent when you you parry i guess you would say the the flug the plow you you parry with the plow and then you come in for the the point to give him the point well as soon as you flip it over the moment you do that because it's a saber, it immediately drops the point right down onto his face or his chest. So it actually helps. So like, I think that's interesting without even having to, before you even begin to extend to thrust, uh, just dropping just dropping it this way already applies the point almost onto him already. So that's kind of cool, something I didn't notice before. Personally, I would like the bigger uh, bow guard. I would like to see if I can have someone who's really better at uh, brazing then brazing and soldering than myself to uh, maybe see if they can add some extra ribs and wires around that. But 
you know, I bought what I bought. I knew it was going to be like that, so I'm not complaining. There is the uh, the other version, the Thompson Saber, but I just don't like the way it looks. It's just so big and black and ugly. I, I can't go around with that. You know, I couldn't... The, the cold steel stuff that's all totally black, it's just so bellicose and obtuse. You know, we do need to have beauty along with our strength. If you only have strength, that's not good. And if you only have beauty, that's not good. There has to be a unity between grace and beauty. You know, and I think this does that very well. In fact, I might need to polish this just because my fingerprints are on it. But, I, you know, a sword is a beautiful thing, and it should be a beautiful thing. I think it's a disservice to swords to make them big, black, and ugly without an attempt to make them shiny and beautiful. There's a reason why this is the way it is. It's meant to be seen. It's a, it's a glorious demonstration of what's right. Stand up for what's right. Stand with Hong Kong, by the way. And Epstein didn't kill himself. He was murdered because he knew something about the Clintons and about the entire DNC and about all the world leaders who were practicing in sex trafficking of children because they're a bunch of Luciferians and they, they do that. Just saying. But... If you would like to see me do some test cutting with this, there's not too many videos of people doing this. There's some, not a huge amount. What should I do test cutting on? If you have, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this sword in action. This is not a wall hanger for me, and not, cold steel does not make wall hangers. If you want to see this sword in action, please give me a comment and say what would you like me to uh, to do to do. What would you like to see, and I'll. I'll see about making that happen for you. I don't have tatami mats. So they're kind of expensive, but I can figure something out. So I wondered if my neighbors have need, need needs anyone to chop their banana trees because I know that they have banana trees. I don't know, just an idea. Well, thanks for watching. God bless. Kando C.